I teach engineering at Stanford University. My dad, who was an engineer, said, why don't you try engineering? And then my second year in college, I hit my first engineering class. And at the time, I was, in most of my engineering classes, the only woman. And the professor got in front of us and was lecturing, and he was using words that I had no idea what he was speaking. And I'm thinking that every guy in the room knows exactly what he's talking about. I mean, they were born knowing that. So I went to the next class, and one of the other students, and he happened to be a bit older, and, you know, I was, what, 17 or 18 years old, and he was maybe in his mid-20s. And he raised his hand right at the beginning of the class, and he said to the professor, I don't have the foggiest notion of what you're talking about. And it was just like, they don't know it either. And after that, it became really fun because education is all about asking questions. What got each of you girls into engineering? Like, look at the world and be like, okay, just because it's been this way before does not mean this is the way it has to be. And if you mm -hmm. take that mindset and you apply it to the teams you work on, the organizations you're part of, the projects you do, I'm not going to just keep things going the same way that they've been going before. And it's hard because people want to look at someone and say, I can do that. But you have to say, I can do better. Were there any role models in your life that you looked up to? Have you guys heard of Cheryl Sandberg? She's the COO of Facebook. And she's like the short little powerhouse. And it's just always like, okay, hey, like ladies, you have to sit at the table and you have to like lean in, meaning like you have to, you have to be there. You, know, you have to show up and you have to be like ready to act. So what do you guys actually do in each of those <laughs> uh, One of my favorite apps that I made this quarter was an app where if you press different cats, they make different meowing noises. And uh, all the people came out in the hallway and they were like looking for a cat, but then it was just the app that I made. <laughs> so that was really fun. So I built a set of nesting stools, basically if you know those Russian dolls, babushka dolls, that like fit inside each other. Um, because college dorm rooms are small, I wanted to make stools that fit inside each other. So when you're not using them, it takes up less space. And so I designed those from the beginning, then I modeled them in SolidWorks, and then I actually was in the shop doing a ton of welding, um, and also a lot of woodworking, and now I have some really cool stools that I can use every day. So. Oh my gosh, that's really awesome. Cool. So like, I'm interested in studying animals like tuna or birds, and then making cool robots out of that. Um, so for the last question, could we please have a hug? Oh, yes. 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 Yes.